guys, welcome to Math Lesson 56. This lesson is all about finding the unknown number. We have been detectives this year doing all kinds of things, finding all kinds of numbers. Well, now we have a missing number, so we as detectives have to find it. And so we have to follow the steps in our investigation to find this number. When you have something like this, we call this an equation. 3 plus 7 equals 2 times 5. An equation is a mathematical sentence that contains an equals sign. So it's a mathematical sentence with an equal sign. It shows two equal sides. Well, sometimes in our equation, we are missing a number. And with that number that we don't know, we use a letter in place of the number until we can find it. So here I have n plus 7 equals 2 times 6. We don't know what number plus 7 is the same as 2 times 6. So we want to find that number. What number plus 7 is going to give us the same answer as 2 times 6? So let's follow the steps. Step number one, you have to simplify your equation. That means if you see anything that you can add, multiply, or subtract, or divide, you have to go ahead and do that. So here I have two times six. Well, I know I can multiply two times six. I don't have to wait for anything. So I will go ahead and multiply that. So I rewrite n plus seven equals, keeping it all in line, n plus 7 equals 2 times 6. What is 2 times 6? 12. Very good. So n plus 7 equals 12. Now, my whole goal, my meta, is to get n solita. I want to get n by itself. So, my next rule is that to get n by itself, I have to do the opposite, the opposite of whatever I'm doing to n right now. So right now, what am I doing? I'm adding seven. What's the opposite of adding? Every operation has an opposite. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, each one has an opposite. What's the opposite of addition? subtraction. So because I'm adding a 7, the opposite is to subtract 7. So I have n plus 7 minus 7 equals. So this is the opposite. This will get rid of my 7. But I have another very, very important rule. You can never, ever forget this rule. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So because I subtracted a 7 here, that means I have to subtract a 7 on the other side of my equal sign. So I have a 12 here. I have to subtract 7 from my 12. So I get n because 7 minus 7 is 0. So that means I have no more number here and I'm left with just n. n equals, what is 12 minus 7? 5, that's right. n equals 5. I just found my answer. I found my unknown number. This says that that n should be a 5. Well, I want to check it to make sure that it, this is the correct answer. How do I check it? This way. And you always have to check these problems. Always, always, always. So I put the 5 in place of the n, and I do my problem again. So instead of n, I have 5 plus 7 equals 2 times 12. So I rewrite, I escribir de nuevo mi problema exactamente as I had it before. 
Okay, let's solve it. 5 plus 7 is 12. Very good. 2 times 6 is 12 too. 12 equals 12. So my problem is correct. N equals 5 is the right answer. All right, let's try another one. Here I have N minus 2 equals 4 plus 2. Now this is letter A of number 2. We're going to do letters A, B, and C together, okay? So don't you worry. We're going to do all three of those um, problems together to help you learn the pattern. Okay, so N minus 2 equals 4 plus 2. First, we need to simplify. We need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide anything that we can. Well, I can add 4 plus 2, so that gives me N minus 2 equals 4 plus 2 is 6. Now I come over here. I want to get N by itself, so I have to do the opposite. Right now I'm subtracting 2. What's the opposite of minus 2? Add 2. That's right. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So I need to add 2. And whatever I do to one side, so I have n minus 2 plus 2 equals 6 plus 2. Because when I do something to one side, I have to also do it to the other. So that gets rid of my 2, and I'm just left with an n. n equals 6 plus 2 is 8. n equals 8. Let me check it to see if it is correct. I'm going to rewrite my problem from the beginning with 8 instead of n. 8 minus 2 equals 4 plus 2. What is 8 minus 2? 6. And 4 plus 2? Also 6. So these are correct. Now let's go on to letter B. Y plus 3 equals 6 times 2. So first we have to simplify whatever we can. Well, we can do 6 times 2, so let's do it. What is 6 times 2? 12. So we get Y plus 3 equals 12. Very good. Now, I have to do the opposite of whatever I'm doing y to y to get y by itself. So I have y plus 3. What's the opposite of adding 3? Subtract 3. Very good. So I get whoops, y plus 3 minus 3 equals, and remember, whatever I do to one side, I also do to the other side. So this is 12 minus 3. I have to subtract 3 from this side too. So 3 minus 3 is 0, so that leaves me with just y. y is by itself. 12 minus 3 is 9. Good job. So that means y equals 9. I'm going to put 9 in place of y, and I get 9 plus 3 equals 6 times 2. What is 9 plus 3? 12. Good job. What is 6 times 2? Also 12. So my problem checks. 9 is my answer. Okay, one more. B plus 9 equals 8 plus 7. We can start by simplifying. What is 8 plus 7? 15. Nicely done. So I have B plus 9 equals 15. Now, 
I have to get B by itself by doing the opposite. What's the opposite of adding 9? Subtracting 9. Very good. So I have B plus 9 minus 9 equals 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I have to do the same thing here that I did over there. I have to subtract 9. So that leaves me with 9 minus 9 is 0. So I just have B. B equals 15 minus 9 is 6. Very good. So B equals 6. Let me check it. Put 6 in place of B. 6 plus 9 equals 8 plus 7. 6 plus 9 is what? 15. Good job. And 8 plus 7 is? Also 15. 15 equals 15. So my answer checks. B equals 6. Excellent job. All right, let's look at your paper. Well, we've been looking at your paper. Let's look at another part of your paper. Number one says, write the opposite process. The letter A is addition. We've been practicing with this. What is the opposite of addition? Subtraction. Subtraction. Look at letter C to spell subtraction correctly. Letter B, multiplication. What's the opposite of multiplying? Division. That's right. Look at letter D to spell division correctly. Letter C, subtraction. What's the opposite? Addition. That's right. And letter D, division. What's the opposite? Multiplication. Very good. Okay, turn your paper over. Look at number three. Write the answer to the listening skills question. Show your work in the seashell. So the listening skills question is this. Listen very, very carefully. On their walk along the shore, Dad picked up 12 shells. Isabel picked up five. And Mom picked up three. How many shells did they pick up all together? Okay, so Dad picked up 12. Isabella picked up five. And Mom picked up three. How many all together? So you need to add, in the workspace, you are going to add 12 plus 5 plus 3, and that gives you your answer. For number 4, write the values. You have 3 half dollars, so that's 3 times 50 cents. 4 quarters, 4 times 25 cents. 12 dimes, 12 times 10 cents. B, 7 half dollars, 7 times 50 cents. 8 quarters, 8 times 25 cents, and 12 nickels, 12 times 5 cents. Okay, number 5, you need to write the products. Number 6, fill in the missing sign. Tell me if you are dividing, adding, subtracting, multiplying. And your brain booster. There are four tables in the lunchroom at Victory Christian School. Each table has eight chairs. How many chairs are in the lunchroom? So you have four tables. One, two, three, four. Each table, it says, has eight chairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So eight chairs at each of the four tables. How many chairs in all? That in the workspace you have four groups of eight. So four times eight is how
how many chairs? All right, that's it for today. Have a wonderful day. Love you so much. Bye.